This video, let's talk about how to create layout templates for us to use in creating our sheets. What I have open here is a DWT file. Now, all templates are DWTs. And in this DWT file, we have a myriad of layouts already created from standard just plan sheets or plan layouts, plan plans, where they're cut into two. We've got planning profiles. We've got cross sections. We've got profile profiles. Now, how do we make these so that we can use them to make our sheets and use them in our wizards? I'll come over here to an empty DWT, uh, DWG drawing. And the first thing you need to keep in mind is the area in which your viewports will be. And that is almost always dictated by whatever border that you're using your plan sheets. In this case, I already have one loaded. We have it as an XREF not actually in the paper space itself, mostly because there are file, there are things that can change per project and rather than changing it um, per sheet, we do it once in the border and let it go, like the seal or the, the draft and the address and stuff like that. And it's just a, a personal opinion on how to do things. Once you have your border decided, know the area in which you're able to put viewports. To create a viewport, you will go to the layouts, layout button here. And over here is layouts and viewport. You have insert views, rectangular clip, and so forth. I'm just going to choose rectangular and draw me in a viewport real fast. Now that I have a viewport in the drawing, turn that off. You can double click it to activate it. Go ahead and set its scale. I will lock it and I will click out of space to get out of it. Once I've done that, I'll go ahead and rename it. This is going to be plan 50 since I just set it to 50 scale. I will select the viewport again and down under the properties dialog box, you'll see the annotation and standard scale that we just set. And under the view, viewport section, is the type and the order. The type is important in that you are able to choose whether it's plan, profile, or section. This is applicable to when you are using the wizards to generate sheets. So I'll choose plan. And the order is the order in which it will generate the view frames when you are running the wizard. In our case, we only have one, but I'll go ahead and number it one. And that's pretty much it for making a simple plan layout. Now, if we were doing two, let's say we wanted to split this like this, I could draw in two, one, and two. Now, something I, I'm skipping over that I probably should mention, notice that these are on layer zero. I do recommend you put these on a layer that's non-plottable for the view frames. And um, that way you can see them, particularly if you have it inset. I'm just clicking to the edge of the border, but if you had it inset, you wanted to see that view frame, but not be able to see it when you plotted it, you could put it on a non-plottable layer. It will still generate the viewport, but the line around it wouldn't be there. Now I've drawn in two here. Let's say these are both plans. So in this case, I need to set the scale for each. We'll do 50 again. And I'll lock it. Go to the second one, do the same thing. Now it's more important that I worry about this order. The, I said these are both going to be plan. This is number one. This is plan and number two. Just that easy. It, this could just as simply have been a profile. So if this was a profile, I would change it to profile. And it's the only one on the sheet. So one or two. Oops. There's only one profile on the sheet, so it doesn't really matter. So it's plan and profile. As you saw from the error, you cannot have duplicate view order numbers. So that's pretty much it. It's just that easy. Once I save this, now I want to save as. And I'm going to save it as a DWT file. 
Now, before I do that, let me show you something in your options. So I'm going to type in OP to open options. I'm going to go to files. And in here are all the paths that Civil 3D is looking for. Somewhere down in here, you will see templates, settings, and the drawing template location, the sheet set template location, all these. So this drawing template location is here. And down here under default template and sheet creation, you put in a file path to where you're putting this DWT. Okay. So I know it's under base templates and sheet templates in my case. So I'm going to save this real fast as a DWT file in that location. And because that was set, when I switched to DWT, it jumped back to this location. So I want to name this video. And now, if I open another empty drawing, I can come down here and right click and say from template. And here's video. And here are the two layouts that I just made. So I click this. It automatically did that and it brought in the X refs that were in the border. Just that quick and easy. If you've got any questions, Please put it down in the comments. If you enjoyed this, please click like. Feel free to subscribe to get notifications when I post more content.